How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Glacier Cable tire chains on our 2016 Honda Pilot. These are ladder style tire chains which basically means that the chains go parallel across the tire and they are roller tire chains as well. So ladder, ladder style tire chains are good for starting and stopping. These rollers are probably specifically going to be used for light snow and sort of just like emergency case usage. We definitely wouldn't recommend these in any sort of ice or heavy snow conditions just because they are meant for sort of a smoother, lighter snow ride. So the cables themselves are made up of a low carbon steel, which is again sort of just an emergency case type of situation. Probably not going to do as well for longevity and keeping rust and corrosion out as sort of a nickel manganese alloy, which some other chains offer, but for this case I think they're fine. One advantage that these chains do offer is that they are class S certified, which basically means that if you have limited wheel well clearance, there won't be any issues and they won't rub up against that. The chains do come with two, two sets of chains in this bag. Um, as far as bags go for roller style chains, it's not my least favorite, but it's definitely not my favorite. It is sort of a lighter fabric material. It might do an okay job of keeping the weather out for a little bit, but over long periods of time, we probably recommend getting some sort of plastic tote if you're going to keep them in your car and try to keep the weather out. But in the case of the install, it's pretty straightforward. It does come with two and uh, we can go ahead and show you how we did that now. So to install these chains is fairly straightforward. First thing you're going to want to do is lay them out flat, making sure that there's no twists or tangles. Also, you're going to want to make sure that this lever is in the front because you will have to tension that once you make that connection. Another good idea once you're laying them out is to try to make sure that it's as centered as possible just to save yourself a little bit of time. But once we have that, we'll go ahead and drape them over the tire, trying to make sure that everything's as even as possible. And then we can go ahead and make our first connection on the back side. This cable on the back features a handful of metal studs that you'll just feed through this catch plate on the end. Can be a little tricky back here for sure, but try to go as far as you can. You get as much tension out and we can come back and adjust that later if we need to. Also, there's this red catch at the end for the slack once you pull that through. Now that we made that connection in the back, we left ourselves enough slack to get two studs in here. And now you just go ahead and turn this handle and slide this up out of the way. Connect the rest of the slack through the handle can definitely be a little bit tricky once you get all that tension out of there. But eventually it will slide in like that. Something we recommend for pretty much all ladder style chains, especially any chains without built in tensioners, is this rubber tensioner. It doesn't come with the chains, but we do recommend picking one up here at eTrailer if you have the opportunity. So just making sure the hook side faces away from your tire. Just connect them in a star pattern, starting from the top, bottom, until you get the chains as tight as you'd like them to be. That's pretty much it for the installation. Go ahead and put the other set of chains on your passenger side. Roll forward or backwards just a few times to make sure that everything's in place where you want it. Then you're ready to hit the road. So overall, I think these are fine tire chains for emergency use, like I mentioned before maybe once or twice for a handful of seasons. Probably not gonna last you a super long time because again, they have that low carbon steel construction. If you did want a set of tire chains that are gonna be smooth, last you a longer time, and have a self-tensioning mechanism on the chains, Koenig's diamond pattern style self-tensioning chains are an option as well. But for an entry level, once in a while usage, I think that these Glacier Snow cable tire chains are a fine fit for the 2016 Honda Pilot.